I'm going to show you how I edit my gaming videos in Premiere Pro. When I first started editing my gaming clips, there were no resources to learn how to format it to make it look clean, especially for vertical video. If you go back and look at some of my older videos, you can see that the formatting was terrible. <laughs> I had to do endless research to try to figure out how to make my videos look clean. Okay, so first we're going to create a new project. We're just going to call this vertical gaming. So I am just going to drop a clip right here in the project. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and drag this into the timeline. Then you're going to click on sequence. You're going to go to sequence settings and you're going to change this to a vertical video. I already know this by memory. So it's 1080 by 1920. Okay, then you're going to want to go ahead and unlink these videos. So pretty much what unlinking does, it separates the audio and the video because they're, they're together once you import them. So then you're going to want to go ahead and copy this one with control C, move the timeline over here and then paste, paste. So what that did, that made two video tracks. I'm going to go ahead and drag this one on top. I'm going to go ahead and drag this one on top. So the reasoning for this is because there's going to be three layers of video. So one of them is going to be stretched out. It's going to be blurred in the background. And then your second one is going to be be what's happening in the video and the third video is going to show your face cam okay so for the first video track we need to stretch this out so we're going to go to scale right here on your effect controls and we're going to increase that okay so that's going to be the background now we're going to go to the middle video and you're also going to want to stretch this out a little bit when you're scaling your videos, you want to be cognizant of what comes out when you're uploading the social media. So on the bottom, you'll have like your description and your username. So you want to leave space for that. I think right there should be good. Then you're going to want to click on the third video and you're going to click on position. You're going to adjust the position of where you want your face cam. Now with your face cam, you can stretch it out a little bit and put it where you think looks the best. Okay, so there we have our three layers of video. Now we have two problems. We have all this extra stuff right here and this extra stuff right here on this video, which we're going to need to clean up. So you're going to click on your first video and you're going to go to your effects and you're going to look for something called Gaussian blur, not Gaussian, Gaussian. <laughs> we're going to drag that over to the first video up here on top. You can pick how much blurriness you like. I think right there at about 33 looks good. Now on the third video, now we need to clean up this area around here. So the way that you do that is with an opacity mask. So you can do this two ways. So you can either draw around this area or you can pick a shape. I'm going to go ahead and click a square. We're going to drag that over here over your face cam. Then you just want to clean it up a little bit. After you've added the mask on the video, you can still position it wherever you like. Now, here's what I love about Premiere Pro. After you set the video format to the way that you like, you can save those presets and that's going to make you faster at editing your gaming clips. Let me show you. I already have all my presets presets saved here so the next time that i make a video i just need to drag it over where i need it and all you need to do to save your preset is just go ahead and right click here on motion save your preset go to opacity save that preset when you go to export your video it's going to start off in full screen so you're going to want to change this you're going to want to go to match source adaptive high bit rate then you're going to select render at maximum depth and select use maximum render quality and hit the export button 